Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today we are doing a 5M installation of the North Yankton um, add-on for 5M. This will allow you to teleport to the hidden world, people kind of call it sometimes, which is the first mission in the GTA single player where you're in a different area. And this allows you to bring that into 5M and to teleport there so you can do role playing there and stuff. While the limited world over there is very, very, very small compared to the main GTA world, people like still visiting there when they can. So we're going to go over how to install this and get this working. There's two things you're going to need. You're going to need this resource and you're also going to need native UI Lula if you don't have that already from other resources. So what you're going to do is you're first going to download the native UI. Um, I just click that and it will take you to here. You'll just go ahead and click the download button and it will go ahead and take you to the release page. And then you just download the latest source code zip from here. And you got this. The other thing you're going to need is you're actually going to need the download from this resource here. You're just going to click here and download here and it will take you to that GitHub. And then from here, all you're going to do is click the code and click download zip. And then you'll have both of these files and this is what we're going to need to install. So in order to install this, we're going to have open these up with our WinRAR, WinZip, uh, 7-Zip, whatever you use to open these files up. And you can see we have two things. We got the native UI inside here. You got two things. You got the native UI and you also got the readme in the menu example. And then over here, you got North Yankton and here you have another folder called RP Yankton. And this is what you're actually going to need to use. So make sure you are inside the first folder and you have the second folder and you're inside the first folder here and you got the second folder. You're going to go and open up your server data or server data file, whatever you use, and go to your resources folder. This is where you're going to drag in the native UI if you don't already have it. I already have it installed, but you would just drag it into this folder just like normal and add it to your start dot, uh, your start server.cfg file. I'll go over that momentarily drag this file in because I don't have it installed already and you can see it's rp underscore yankton don't change the name of this you can just copy the name so you have it in your memory you can go ahead and close this out now you're going to go to your server.cfg file edit it with notepad plus plus or whatever you use to edit these files then you're going to add ensure or start depending on what you do that name of the folder and then if you don't already have it you're going to add ensure native ui to this folder go ahead and save and this will save it in here and then we're going to go ahead and start the server on however you start the server up and running also launching 5m at the same time the way you can tell is if this loaded up correctly is when this whole um, console pops up you're going to want to make sure you see that it loaded both native ui you can see i've loaded native ui here but you're also going to want to make sure it has loaded the rp yankton um resource because that means it has gone ahead and added that in and that is important to see because if you don't have that it hasn't loaded successfully if you have eup on your server it does take a little bit of time to verify your license and everything with the eup people or the 5m resource people whatever however it works it does take a moment um, but it will eventually load past this um, but you'll see it momentarily in here where it will say started resource uh, yanked in or uh, RP underscore Yankton. It is forked from another resource for ESX, which I will be doing a full video on very soon. Um, but uh, that's kind of like a framework. I'll go over more of that in the future in terms of framework stuff. But there we go. Okay, so it's all loading up here now that it has verified my license and everything. Um, still taking a little while. I do apologize for that. It's a little bit of a slow day today, um, it seems. But uh, once it starts up, we're going to go ahead and join and test it all out. And there we go. So you can see start resource RP Yankton. Ignore the red. Normally it's not red. It doesn't really matter what the color is in your console. Unless it's an error, you don't really have to worry about it that much. Um, but we'll go ahead and log in here. Um, and I will go ahead and resume right when we get into the game. All right, so once you are in the game, you go to the airport and on the second level, for some reason it says arrivals, but uh, when you get up to the second level, you'll see this little plane thing here and you'll click E to open the menu and you can either fly to San Andreas or you can fly to North Yankton. We are going to fly to North Yankton and you can see our screen will go black and then we will end up in a plane. Let me go ahead and make this full screen so it's a little bit easier for all of you to see, but then you end up into a plane and now you are on the way to North Yankton. A few seconds later, you will go ahead and teleport and then... And the screen will go black it will go to the loading screen and you will somehow magically end up in north yankton outside of the little starting mission for gta 5 and you can see that um in the way this works is the you can kind of explore the town go through it uh there's not gonna be that much happening here considering it isn't really a main part of the game per se because you are in a place where there's literally not supposed to be anything going on 
um, at all. But you can explore the snow, have fun going through um, the little bit of the town that does exist from the single player, and just have some fun with it. So it is pretty cool. You get to travel here. To travel back, you just go to the plane icon in that building, and it will go ahead and you can fly back to Los Santos just like normal. But hopefully you did enjoy this release. I know the author um, does provide minimal support over on the forums on the release page, so if you are interested in or have any problems with it, uh, just go ahead and report it there. But from what I've heard, there's, not that, there's no issues or anything. As long as you have both native UI and this resource installed, you should be able to use it and play around with it quite fun. Uh, explore the town, have some fun with it, do role play, whatever you want to do with it. I highly recommend just messing around with it and having some fun. So, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. We do 5M Minecraft, all the good games and everything. Some Microsoft Flight Simulator too soon. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Subscribe, leave notifications on, all that good stuff. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, have some fun with this release, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Oh, yeah.